Um, speaking of uh, hip hop, uh, Dr. Dre got his uh, walk. I mean, his star That's on the awesome. Walk of Fame. And I know you love Dr. Dre. Hey, the Chronic man. He, uh, I, I, yo, okay. Since we're talking about the Chronic, yeah, uh, in more ways than one, uh, we're gonna talk about the Kishi Kush one day too. Kishi mm. Kush one day. Damn right. Um, so the Chronic versus the Chronic 2001. Which album is your favorite? Um, I'd have to go number one. Okay, yeah, so that'd be the yeah. the one that came out in 90, 91, 92 with yeah. the G-Thang on it. Yeah, yes. yeah, right? I yeah. mean, that's, for me, that's when it really dropped. Yeah, Like, yeah. the whole world kind of said, oh, you know, it, it almost kind of, like, was touching, like, the, for me, it was funny, because would the radio play this? Mm -hmm. It was so hard. Yes. You know what I mean? Gangster rap back in the day, right? Right. They, they didn't even know if they want to touch that or air it on on, you know, the radio and so forth. But now it's like, you know, years later, you know, if they didn't believe in, you know, in uh, in their product and, you know, what what they're talking about and so forth, you know, they took the chance. Dr. Trey and the whole crew, Ice Cube, everybody, mm -hmm. Snoop Dogg, you know, back in the day. And, you know, good for them, right? Yeah. Because now it just kind of opens up the door for a lot of other young hip-hop artists that are out there yeah. that, you know, might, you know, want to be... Uh, want to know which kind of route that they need to go, you know? And so these guys here, they paved the way. So big shout out to Dr. Dre. Yes, sir. For your receiving yep. his stars. Yeah, and you and know? Especially everything he did with N.W.A. Man. You know, so uh, just... Uh, oh, did you see that movie? Yes, sir. And I, and I and I liked it. I really liked it. And I thought O'Shea Jackson yeah. did a really good job playing his portraying his father. Yeah. Um, I thought he did really good. Shout out to O'Shea Jackson because I know he watches the show. And one yeah. day we're gonna get him on here. But um, I really liked that movie. What did what, did you like it? I thought it was great. I mean, you know, to be able to kind of pull down the curtains for us, right? You know, from us looking from the outside trying to look in, and just to see, you know, all the drama and. You know that that you know that portrayed on the movie, right? It just that's real life. You know what I mean? Whether they were rappers or not, but mm -hmm. any family they go through drama, any friends, you know. But and you learn about you know uh, greed and stuff in there, right? Like they had no money, and all of a sudden there are these you know millionaires that make selling out records, shows, and so forth. But you know the circle wasn't that tight that it it, it let other people come through. And they had a know, big like, falling out, of course, like, Dr. Dre and Heller, and Heller and, you know, that cat, right? Right, right. So he's making money and stuff, you know, not not telling the truth off a contract. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, what we learn off of it, if you have an album, if you're an independent, you know, uh, guy that's trying to put your music out, make sure you get a good attorney to check out all your stuff. Because, I mean... That's kind of like the way to go now to protect yourself. There it is. If you ever need legal advice, legal. call Rikishi. That's it. Our dirty managers uh, skipping out on paying you the bill. If you need justice, all you got to do is call Rikishi. <laughs> Give me a yeet. <laughs> <laughs>